Hey everybody, Carl from Skunk Machine. Uh, today I'm going to take you through the next process of the uh, Royal Enfield GT865 Racer project. Previously, we showed you the clay modelling and the scanning stage. Today, we're going to introduce you to Luke from K-Bar, who is making the CNC patterns for the next carbon fibre moulding process. Hi, I'm Luke from K-Bar. This is our large format CNC machine. Today we're using it to do a composites pattern for the motorcycle design project. Because of its large size, we can do a whole car, whole motorbike, or a whole sculpture in one piece, up to 7.6 metres long. This is a polyurethane tooling board material. The machine then carves out a replica of it, which then goes and gets painted to a really good finish, and then fibreglass moulds are taken from it. Using then those moulds, we can make carbon fibre parts. Down here is a roughing stage. Up through here is the semi-finished stage where we're actually starting to replicate the surface of the geometry. After this stage here, we'll then do a finer pass, which will give us a perfectly smooth finish. After this process is done, we'll, we'll switch over to the finishing cutter, which is a ball nose. This will do a very fine finish and get a really smooth result. And then from there, we can paint to an automotive finish. Then we do the mold making, and um, that'll be the final replica of the part. Today is a really exciting milestone for the Royal Enfield 865 GT project. Since K-Bar, we've received the master patterns for the fairings. Um, today we've got uh, Yarrick from Horsch Carbon. He's going to take us through the process of these amazing carbon fibre pieces that we're going to put on this bike. I'm Yarrick from Horsch Carbon and uh, we produce automotive components in carbon fibre. We mainly make uh, front lips, side skirts and rear valances. As you saw in the previous video from K-Bar, um, they were machining all of the plugs and we've got one of the plugs here finished, which is kind of how you get them. And then from there, you need to create the mould. So from there, you need to split the part because sometimes the part won't release in one go. Um, and basically that's what we've done here. So as you can see, the mould comes in three pieces. So we've got one section down the bottom and we've got two down the end. That's the only way the part's going to release. And then from there, basically we lay up the piece and uh, this is kind of what we get at the end. Just one of the, one of the first pieces. As you can see here, we've got uh, the part, one of the side panels here ready to infuse. Um, basically the way that we do this is we would uh, lay the fabric dry into the mold. So in, in total here, we have about four layers. Um, you have to be careful about how you lay it up in the mould because you don't want any warping um, of the visual layer, for example. Uh, and basically after you've done that first layer, you would back it up. Uh, in this case, we backed it up with uh, three other layers of 200 gram carbon fibre. Um, once that's done, we put a peel ply over that. Basically that gives a nice surface finish for, for the behind part. Uh, and then you would put the flow media. So the flow media, which is the green stuff, which you can see here, uh, helps the resin flow over the part uh, and helps the part infuse. Uh, basically, the next step would be to infuse with the resin, which we will be showing you shortly. see the infusion is finished and uh, achieved perfect vacuum, uh, perfect saturation. Uh, basically at this stage we'll clamp off the lines and leave it till tomorrow and then we'll uh, demold it and end up with something like the other product that you saw. The next stage is to trim this beautiful carbon fibre part, fit it to the bike and watch this project come to life.